Hi, it's Katrina. From biting your finger off to swallowing you whole, here are 10 of the scariest creatures found in rivers. Number 10. Alligator Snapping Turtle Alligator snapping turtles can measure over 2 feet long and weigh about 250 pounds. It looks quite prehistoric with massive spikes along its carapace and a mean mouth with a bite force of about 1,000 pounds per square inch. There are tales of these turtles snapping broom handles in half, and they can easily snap through bone, so they should never be handled in the wild unless you want to lose a finger. A 15-year-old boy spotted an alligator snapping turtle in a stream near his house. He tried to lift up the turtle and get a picture with it. The turtle snapped his finger right off and then swallowed it. He dropped the turtle in all the commotion and was not able to recover the turtle or his finger before going to the emergency room. He was okay but had to have multiple surgeries and is now missing his index finger. Unfortunately, children are more likely to be bitten by animals and get more severe injuries because they love to touch everything. Number 9. Giant Freshwater Stingray The giant freshwater stingray may very well qualify as the world's largest freshwater fish. This ancient species, which appears to have changed very little over its several million year existence, is largely a mystery to scientists. Freshwater stingrays are one of the only rays who prefer freshwater environments over saltwater habitats, although it's unknown whether they ever enter the ocean. They are found throughout Thailand, Cambodia, Malaysia, and Indonesia, where they live and hunt among river bottoms. Freshwater stingrays reach as much as 16 and a half feet long and weigh up to 4,300 pounds. That's bigger than a small car. Freshwater stingrays are curious and non-aggressive by nature, and they do not typically attack humans. But they can be very dangerous to people who come into contact with them. At the base of the animal's tail is a sharp barb that can easily pierce human skin and bone. And the creatures are also equipped with a poisonous stinger measuring up to 15 inches long. The barb can get stuck inside and will not only be extremely painful but can also cause a severe infection. Fishers do not target freshwater stingrays because they are not a favored food source, but they sometimes unintentionally capture the animals in their nets or with their hooks. Stories of the creatures dragging boats around and sometimes even pulling them underwater demonstrate the very real dangers of accidentally catching a freshwater stingray. As terrifying as these creatures are, they are classified as endangered. While their numbers are unknown, they are rarely spotted as they are especially susceptible to pollution. Number 8. Vampire fish. The vampire fish goes by many names. Also known as the payara, wolffish, dracula fish, and dog-toothed tetra, it easily qualifies as one of South America's scariest fish. This predatory species lives in fast-moving waters of the Amazon basin in Bolivia, Brazil, Ecuador, Peru, and Venezuela. It reaches between 2 and 3 feet long and can weigh as much as 35 pounds. It is armed with fearsome bottom fangs measuring up to 6 inches long. The fish is even born with holes in its upper jaw, which houses these massive teeth. The largest payara on record measured three and a half feet long and weighed 39.4 pounds. The carnivorous species, which has no known predators, eats other fish, including the much feared piranha. These fast moving, fearsome creatures bodies are built for speed and for swimming through rough, choppy waters. In addition to being large, powerful, and ferocious looking, the payara is a highly aggressive hunter. It even chases the fish it is not interested in eating out of the area it wants to hunt in, so that its desired prey will come around. Captive payaras are even meaner than wild ones. They generally cannot share a tank with other fish because they threaten, attack, and kill their tank mates. As a species that is temperamental to begin with, when a payara feels cornered, they become downright fierce. Good news is, while these fish will defend themselves if they feel threatened, they do not seek people out as potential victims. So, while some injuries have been reported, including cuts and bites, it is highly unlikely for a payara to viciously or relentlessly attack someone without cause. Some people even fish for payaras, and when one gets hooked, it puts up a strong fight. Number 7. The Goonch Catfish The giant devil, or goonch catfish, dwells in deep, fast waters in the rivers of the Indian subcontinent and possibly Southeast Asia. It's one of the largest known catfish species, reaching up to 6.6 .6 feet long and sometimes weighing over 200 pounds. Unlike most other animals, the goonch catfish is known for targeting humans. Between 1998 and 2007, a series of fatal attacks occurred along the banks of the Kali River. 
In each of the attacks, the creature pulled its victim underwater and dragged them away. The remains of at least two victims were never found, even after extensive and thorough searches of the area. While the credibility of these accounts have been called into question over the years, it is entirely possible, if not likely, that they are all true stories. Extreme angler Jeremy Wade investigated the matter and learned from locals that partially burnt human remains were sometimes discarded into the river in the four to five mile span where all of the attacks happened, possibly leading the goonch catfish in the immediate area to develop a taste for human flesh. Wade ultimately ruled out other possible causes for the attacks, including crocodiles, bull sharks, and whirlpools. The catfish is so big that when it opens its mouth, it creates a vacuum, swallowing people whole. Number 6. The Arapaima The Arapaima, also known as the Paiche or Piraruku, lives in the rivers, lakes, and swamps of the Amazon basin. These fish can get huge, reaching up to 15 feet long and weighing as much as 440 pounds, according to National Geographic. They also have the fastest known growth rate of any fish, making them an ideal species for farming. But it's not their size that makes them dangerous. They have broad, bony heads, and when they feel threatened, they will use short bursts of speed to hit and attack predators and prey alike. Host of the show River Monsters, Jeremy Wade, had a close brush with death when he was handling an 80-pound arapaima. He said it shot toward him, hitting him squarely in the chest. I don't know if it was making a last bid for freedom or if it was actually aiming for me, Wade remembered. He hit me in the sternum. I could still feel that after six weeks. I was very worried at the time that it might have damaged my heart. However, arapaimas are omnivorous, eating mainly other fish and occasionally eating insects, fruits, and seeds. They breathe oxygen and can feed in areas where other fish are forced to slow down. They also have a reputation for hunting fiercely, sometimes charging and jumping out of the water to capture and eat birds, lizards, and small primates. Males who incubate tens of thousands of eggs in their mouth during breeding season become extra aggressive when it comes to protecting their precious cargo. These big fish are also covered with armor-like scales that helps them to resist piranha attacks. The river can be a scary place. Number 5. Goliath Tigerfish The Goliath Tigerfish is the largest tigerfish species, with the biggest specimen on record measuring nearly 5 feet long and weighing 154 pounds. Many people refer to it as a much larger and deadlier version of the piranha. The species is native to several parts of Africa, including the Congo River Basin, the Lualaba River, Lake Upemba, and Lake Tanganyika. People from these regions claim that the Goliath tigerfish is the only fish that does not fear crocodiles, and sometimes even eats smaller ones. Using its strong force, lightning-fast speed, and 32 jagged, razor-sharp teeth, each measuring up to an inch long to its advantage, chomping down on its prey with surgical precision and little to no warning. On rare occasions, Goliath tigerfish even attack humans, and even when a person wins against one, victory only comes after a tough battle. In October 2010, British angler Jeremy Wade reeled in a Goliath tigerfish, earning him a distinction that only a handful of fishermen are known to have. He captured the specimen in the Congo Basin after an eight-day hunt, using extra care to bring it into his possession. It is a very dangerous fish to handle, said Wade. If you aren't careful, it could easily take your finger off, or worse. Number 4. Diving Bell Spider Native to freshwater habitats of Europe and Asia, the diving bell spider, also known as the water spider, is the only known spider species that lives almost entirely underwater. It occasionally surfaces to replenish oxygen, but spends virtually the rest of its time resting, hunting, eating, mating, and laying eggs in a submerged environment. The diving bell spider survives by trapping a bubble of air at the water's surface, diving back down, and storing it beneath a canopy made from silk and water plants. Specimens rely on this bubble, simply diving to the surface for another whenever they run low. Diving bell spiders are capable of inflicting a painful bite on humans, accompanied by symptoms like inflammation, vomiting, and fever. Thankfully, these side effects tend to disappear within days and are not known to be fatal or even harmful. Number 3. The Black Cayman The Black Cayman is the largest member of the alligator species and the Amazon basin's biggest predator, with adult males growing between 13.1 and 16.4 feet long on average. It's named for its dark coloring, which is thought to efficiently absorb heat and helps to camouflage the nocturnal species while it hunts. Black caimans feed on a varied diet of fish, reptiles, rodents, and even capybaras, which reach up to four feet long, and they are known to occasionally get aggressive with humans. 
There were 43 recorded instances of black caimans attacking humans between January 2008 and October 2013, and while less than one-fifth of them were fatal, you just never know. In 2010 in Brazil, a 13-foot-long black caiman drowned an 11-year-old girl by clamping its jaws down on her body and holding her underwater. This tragedy reminded experts of the ever-present threat that these reptiles pose to people who live near them, especially considering their customary hunting tactics, which involve attacking prey with virtually no warning of their presence. People who encounter an angry black caiman could easily be injured or killed. A 2011 study admits that scientists do not know the exact threat black caimans pose to humans when the two species live in close proximity to one another, and that victims can die from physical trauma, blood loss, and later infections. Number 2. Candiru The candiru fish is not necessarily terrifying or even noticeable at first glance, but the species has a reputation for allegedly entering people's urinary tracts and latching itself to the inside using its sharp barbs. According to rumors, the chances of this happening increase if you urinate in the Amazon River. While some candiru species reach up to 16 inches long, others are typically much smaller. It's the smaller ones who are known for supposedly invading a person's urethra and painfully torturing them from within, and sometimes even laying eggs inside their bladder. This tale has taken on a life of its own, but is this actually really possible? Stories of candiru fish lodging themselves into human urethras began circulating as far back as the 19th century, when European explorers interviewed tribes who said that if one of these fish swam up, the offending member had to be cut off in order to survive. Carl Friedrich Philipp von Martius, the first European to document the candiru fish, wrote that men often tied their urethras shut before entering the Amazon River. Early accounts claimed that the species was even capable of traveling up someone's urine stream to reach and enter their body. Some past quote-unquote expert advice even recommended amputating the penis in cases of the fish invading men's privates, otherwise it would block the whole urinary tract and you would surely die. The first and only known recorded instance of a candiru being removed from a person's urethra happened in 1997, long after the story gained urban legend status and even this incident is reportedly questionable. Moreover, the first scientific paper about the candiru, published in 1930, is allegedly based mostly on hysteria, speculation, and legend. But nobody who wrote professionally about the candiru ever witnessed such an attack firsthand, calling the credibility of these claims and recommendations into question. A 2001 study even showed that candirus are more likely to pursue traditional prey, such as fish, rather than urine-like chemicals like ammonia. I mean, I guess it's better to be safe than sorry, so pee in the Amazon at your own risk. Number 1. Nile Crocodile The Nile Crocodile, also known as the Common Crocodile, is a crocodilian species native to the freshwater habitats of 26 African countries, living in various freshwater habitats, including swamps, lakes, rivers, and marshlands. They are known to be much more aggressive than other species. Adult males grow between 11.5 and 16.4 feet long and weigh from 500 to 1,650 pounds. The largest recorded have measured 20 feet or longer and have weighed as much as 2,400 pounds. Second only to the saltwater crocodile, they take anything they want as prey with the help of their strong bite, sharp teeth, and agile movement. Their bite force may be as high as 5,000 pounds of force per square inch so there is no way to escape its jaws. They feed mostly on fish, reptiles, birds, and mammals, ambushing their targets after waiting patiently for the perfect moment to attack. The Nile crocodile is widely known as a man-eating species, and this reputation comes with more than a grain of truth. Experts estimate that the species kills hundreds or thousands of people annually, although many, if not most, attacks go unreported. These tragic events stem primarily from the Nile crocodile's tendency to live in close proximity to humans, increasing the likelihood of a hostile encounter between the two. Considering the statistics, it's no wonder the ancient Egyptians both feared and revered the Nile crocodile, which has since become counter-threatened by human activity such as pollution, hunting, and actions resulting in habitat loss. Thanks for watching! Hope that wasn't too scary for you! If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're at it, remember to subscribe to Origins Explained. See you later, alligator.